We don't want people to be ignoring their symptoms and then to present with far more advanced symptoms and far more advanced conditions. Cancers unfortunately can spread and sometimes the treatment options are very different by waiting a few months. So if you have symptoms such as unexplained weight loss, it may be a change in appetite, it may be that the clothes are feeling a little bit looser, pain or a cough which may be present for three weeks or more which there is no explanation for, blood in your urine or, or blood when you open your bowels, a lump which may be present in the breasts or elsewhere, Sometimes people like to keep these things to themselves and hope it's going to go away. The outcomes are always better for a cancer which has been caught and treated earlier. The best way of, of finding out whether your symptoms are important is actually speaking to your GP. I understand that people may have concerns about COVID safety, but um, there are very good protocols in place now. GPs have found a new way of working. Sometimes it can be through a telephone consultation. They may ask you to complete a few questions beforehand so they can decide how your needs are best met. And sometimes it is face to face. They've got really good pathways in place now to make sure you are safe. They make sure that the waiting rooms do not have too many people in them. Everything is cleaned regularly. They've put lots of different measures in place to keep you as safe as possible. Yes, you're going to be apprehensive, but you need to have your case being looked after and diagnosed at the earliest opportunity. So don't shy away and stay away and wait till the last minute and then it's too late. I was due a smear test and I got the letter and I sat on it for a bit because I just thought, yeah, I really just don't want to occupy any of their time. And then actually I got a reminder letter and I just thought, yes, actually I need to make sure that I don't then become a problem. <laughs> Aside from them being masked and visored and having kind of uh, a gown as such on, there was no difference to the experience. It was exactly the same. In truth, the person who's going to suffer by delaying it and then discovering that something is, um, is amiss is you. The most important thing is making sure your symptoms are heard, not keeping it to yourself, making sure that somebody can hear what it is that you're experiencing so that you can then get the help that you need. It's far better for the patients and for the NHS if patients do come forwards earlier and that they can be treated earlier so that the outcomes are far more successful. I visited this GP surgery, I got my diagnosis and I think everyone out there who's having a slight problem, something that they're concerned about, get it diagnosed as early as you possibly can. I did it, so should you.